Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to run multiple Minecraft servers on one computer or one server. So, you're going to need um, to download the Minecraft server package from their website, minecraft.net. You're going to have to log in. If I remember my password, <laughs> I have it uh, remembered when I play the game, so I never type it in. But, yeah, it's really slow. Minecraft needs new servers. I don't think I need to download or log in to download it. Yeah, I don't. So, I'm just going to download the executable uh, version of it. Alright, gonna open it up. I'm gonna create a folder for it. I'm gonna name it Minecraft Servers. I'm gonna drag that executable into it. Open that up. And now I am going to uh, create another folder call it mc dash server pound sign one gonna copy this minecraft server executable into this folder right and now i'm gonna make a copy of that folder along with the copy of the minecraft server in it so now we have two folders each with an executable of the minecraft server so i just deleted that one because we don't need it and now you could also do more than two servers if you wanted. But now we're going to run each one. The reason I made them in folders was to keep all the different files organized so we know which, which files belong to which um, server instance. So it's preparing the world for our server, MC server number one. And it's, it may take a while. And I don't suggest doing this unless you have a lot of RAM and a quad-core processor. It would be uh, ideal if you had a actual server that could handle this. If you're doing this on a personal computer, uh, the people who connect are probably going to experience lag. Alright, I stopped the video just because it's taken a while. So... It's almost done here. Alright, it's finishing up. And once it's finished, we'll have a bunch of files in this folder. And that's why I said to create multiple folders. Alright, so we're just going to close this now. To do it properly, we type exit. Oh, actually, whoa. Hold on. I think it's changed. We type stop. Alright, so it's saving everything. Then it should close. Alright. So now if we go into the folder that contains the server we just ran, let's open up server.properties, right click it, and click open with, and do notepad. So here we have all our options we can configure. Now, the one we're looking for, you guys can mess with these if you'd like, but the one we need to change for this to work properly is the server port. Now, we can leave this one as 25565, but for the next one, we're going to have to change it to, let's say, 25564, because we can't have two instances of the Minecraft server running on the same port, because they'd uh, have a conflict with each other, and it wouldn't work. So we can we can leave this one as 25565, but let's go to our second instance of the Minecraft server here. And let's run that one. I'm going to pause the video because it may take a while to prepare it. So, okay, the second server has finished setting up. So we can just exit out of this or stop.
and now we're going to go to the server.properties folder or file open that up again you can open it up with notepad and we're going to change the port number we can change this to anything but to keep it consistent we can either subtract a number or add a number to it I'm just going to subtract a number to 25564 so if you had hundreds of different or not hundreds but dozens of different Minecraft servers running on the same server um, it just keeps it organized so let's save this here close it and now we're gonna port forward so people can connect to these so open up Google Chrome and you're gonna wanna go to your routers control panel if you don't know what this is just go to command prompt type cmd and then type ip config and then you're going to want to find your default gateway uh, address which mine is 192.168.1.1 give your username and password um, if you want to know your the defaults um, for non-configured routers that come right out of the box uh, you can just google it your routers um, number or whatever and they'll show you the default password and username so then you're gonna wanna locate port forwarding you're gonna wanna add a custom service or whatever it says it might be different alright and the service name let's name it minecraft or actually mc server dash one it doesn't have to be this just for organization keep it simple so we can easily remember which server is which the service type make sure it's TCP slash UDP starting port is 25565 ending port is 25565 the server IP address go back into command prompt and look for your IPv4 or IPv6 address. Mine is 192.168.1.7. Okay. Hit apply. Uh, being used. All right. That's being used by a different service. So let's see. It's this one right here. So let me just edit this. Server one. Change that to dot seven. Now notice how actually that was a great example of uh, the ports conflicting with each other. I had another instance for a previous Minecraft server I was running on the same port, and notice how my Netgear router didn't allow me to have another instance of that server running with the same port number. So let's hit apply, and it should work. And now we're going to add another custom service. Let's, do, let's name it MC Server 2. The same thing, TCP slash UDP. But the thing that's going to be different here is the port. Now, it's going to be the port number that we specified for Server 2. So it's going to be 25564, and the ending port is going to be the same as that. 25564. Alright, the server IP address is going to be the same, dot 7, and hit apply. And you can continue to follow these steps and repeat them for as many servers as you want running on your, on this computer. So, let's close out of this. We don't need that opened anymore. Close that. And let's see. Alright. I'm going to close this video up soon. Let me just demonstrate that these servers can run at the same time. So let me run Minecraft Server 1. And let me run the second one as well. Alright, this one's done. That's Server 1. This is Server 2. Notice how they're both successfully started. Now to prove that these actually work, let me go to cmyip.com 
and let me connect to each one of them. So let's open up the Minecraft client. If you're connecting with the same IP address you're running the server on, or if you're connecting on the same computer as the server is running on, I should say, then you're going to have to use your IPv4 address. Type in I or type in your IPv4 address here, and then type in the port number. And I'm connected to server one. And disconnect. And let's try server two. If you remember, it's two five five six four and not two five five six five for server two. As you can see, it connects to server two. And there you guys have it. That's how you do this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.